So eventually I decided to skip the my SQL part and do this on tax five. So we have to update our file storage and add public instance delete that is going to take an object and we are going to check if this object is inside the class attribute of file storage if it's inside it we are going to isolate it and delete it if it's not there we should do nothing and then we are going to update the all method to this so which means it's going to be taking the second parameter which is the class and it's going to return the list of objects of the type of class that is passed to it if it's base model or class or user I think minus base model I believe so let's do this So the delete is supposed to take an object. So I'm in my file storage. <coughs> in my file storage script. So what we are going to do here is um, we are going to first check if object is not provided. And if it's not if it's not provided, we are going to as if that is if object is none. So we say if object is none, so we return without doing nothing. And then if it's ob if the object is provided, what we are going to do is to, we are going to first construct a key to be able to locate the object in the in the self dot in this class attributes which contains all of the class is created so we are going to construct a key um, I'm going to name this key object to delete then I'm going to use an F string to construct this key you can equally use um, the string format so I'll say obg dot that is the first get the class name class dot m dot object dot id as we should remember that um inside this inside the 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 private class attribute object that holds um, all of the objects or all classes the key to each class uh, to each instance created or to each class is um the object name dot id so here we are grabbing the object name and we are grabbing the object id and then we are going to we are going to try to attempt to <coughs> excuse me delete the object from the objects dictionary so we are going to say file storage dot objects which is the addition class attributes which is a dictionary that contains all of the classes and its objects so we are going to pass in the the key which is the object that we wish to delete and then of course we use the delete keyword the delete function to take out the object mm -hmm. I think should be expecting an attributes attribute error 
which could occur if the object is not an instance of a valid base model class. Visit our pass and then another one is a key error which could occur where the object with the specified key is not found. So I'll just pass. And then we are going to update the our method here. Yeah. So the our method is supposed to take class with a default value of none. So it's going to filter the result to include. I mean, this is what I'm trying to read. So it's going to filter the result to include only objects of the specified class. So we see that here we are returning the initial use of this all method is to return all of the objects that are stored in this class attribute of file storage. So we are going to modify it where if if a class name is entered, we are only going to return all the objects of that class. And if there is no class name entered, we are going to return all objects of all classes. That is safe to this um, private attribute, which is a dictionary. So to be able to retrieve and display all objects of the specified class, we are going to first check if there is a given class to search and display so we are going to say if if class again we are going to check um, if if this class is a string or is just the class itself so you say if this instance we are say, checking if if it's a string because if it's a string, you would like to convert it to, to, to the class. So, but we could go ahead and, and use eval function like we could say eval and then we pass in class. But I would want to avoid using it because because of its security vulnerabilities. So we will dynamically import the class using the global function. We can't talk much about this global function, but you can go ahead and look it up. So call globals the get, and then we pass in the class, which is going to return the the dictionary um, value of this class that is passed and then if if this class is not in the global object of this on file storage is going to return none so after importing the class dynamically using the global function so we are going to check if the class is a valid class and if it's a subclass of base model because we know that all the classes um, they inherit from the base model class so we are going to say if class that is if after using globals to get the class if is if it did not return none and then we check if we use is subclass function which is We are going to use to check if class is a subclass if it is inheriting from the base model base model class. So I know that if you look here, this um, is uh, is saying base model is not defined. It's because of the way this uh, the young man implemented this file storage. He only imported all of these here, so I think I'll just I'll just take all of this and I'll move it to the top.
Yeah. So, if it is a subclass of base model or maybe the base model itself, you are going to create a dictionary of instances of the specified class and I'm going to be using a dictionary comprehension. I hope you are familiar with using a dictionary comprehension. So, I'm going to say for key and value in save that objects dot items that is we want to get everything in the in this dictionary we want to get everything stored in there and then we are going to check if if the value is an instance of the class because what we are looking to get is the the class that is passed to this all method so we check if the value is an instance of the class if value is an instance of the class what we are going to do is to we are going to take the key and set it to v so this um dictionary comprehension so i guess for the sake of i could start break this here so we have 79 so now after doing this the next thing we are going to do is to just return the class dictionary so what happens here is if this class is is not known you will grab um all the objects or instance of the class and display it then if it's known or is not provided or is an is is a is not a valid class of the base of this base model we are just going to return the dictionary of all objects stored in the storage so i'll go to this is what we are going to use to test the file. So here, this is where um, we are first. Okay, we call the all method here, and then we loop through it, and then we print all of it. Okay. So if if your file digestion is empty, mine is not empty. I have stated in it. If it's if it's empty, you get zero, one, two, three, and so on. But if it's not empty, I think it's going to increase. So I guess let me delete everything in here. So if I should run this, okay. storage line 5 oh I wasn't looking okay let's try again Okay, um, I think we have to catch this error. This is from, it's coming from the part where I think it's the reload. Yeah, this part. So I'll catch the error and do nothing. I'll catch this error. Pass. one more time okay there we have it so we see that all stays is two and is three 
is 4 and is 3 so if I should go back and delete this if I run this again now we see that here the output is zero because we haven't created uh, an object of state so after creating an object of state and then we print it out state is one we created another one here and printed it out here so state becomes two and then now we call the delete method and pass in new state which is i think the first one that we created yeah this one and then after deletion after deletion we printed out all of it again and now we got one so that is it for this task did i miss something Ah, I think I got it all.